It is a brand new day, and you guys know what that means. It's time for another episode of the Beginner's Playthrough Guide series here on the channel. Uh, I don't even know what we're calling it at this point, but you guys know what it is, and we're here with episode number 11. Now, today's episode is going to be quite different than a lot of the other episodes we've done, as today's primarily going to be focused on some trophies that we have managed to get as of recent during my uh, lion grinding here on Verhonga Savannah, trying to earn enough money uh, to purchase all the stuff that we need to make these episodes, because right now, we just purchased the 300 Magnum and also the Argus Scope. Which, as you can imagine, was quite expensive. I believe we spent like 111,000 currency just on those two items. Uh, so we had to make back a lot of that money. And as you can see, we've been killing a lot of lions. Uh, quite a few, actually. And the majority of them have been males for the most part. And then we also uh, killed a couple moose and a fox as I was getting some screenshots for the thumbnail of episode 10. And as we take a look at the hunting profile here, you guys may notice we've got a couple more diamonds than what we had in episode 10. And that's because while I was grinding for lions, we found a couple very amazing trophies. And the very first one that we're going to be showing off was found in such an interesting way that I feel like we have to start the video off with it. So we're going to start the day off by taking a look at a diamond wildebeest that we ended up getting when I was actually loading into the map here on uh, Verhonga Savannah. The way that it unfolded was probably the most interesting way I've ever killed a diamond. And to be honest, I don't think I'll ever duplicate this particular moment because it was just so strange and it was something you really just never see. So essentially what ended up happening was we loaded into Verhonga Savannah for the first time and as the camera was panning down, I saw some wildebeest in the distance. And one of them looked a little bit lighter than normal. I saw something bright white and immediately knew that I had to go over and investigate what it was. Now it turned out to be a gems box, so it wasn't anything like I thought it was, but that did make me look at the rest of the herd and there just happened to be a max weight estimate level four. So let's take a look at that right now. For those of you that are not familiar with uh, the way the scoring is on the Wildebeest, level fours that are max weight estimate very commonly will end up making diamond. And so I knew that we had to at least take it down and see if it was, and well, it just happened to be a diamond. And that would make it our fifth diamond overall throughout this series and about 500 kills at the time. The next thing that we did was actually come down to this particular lake right here. I made the journey to this outpost as you can see. We kind of stopped at this lake on the way, hunted a few lions here, and then drove down to this outpost. And when we got to this outpost, well, lo and behold, there was a level 9 lion waiting for us. And it's been a while since I've seen a level 9 lion. I actually don't have a lot of them on my main account. And so the fact that we found one on here was about the last thing I would have expected. So that was a really nice surprise. And that guy did end up making it as well. So that's two diamonds within, I think, five kills of each other. I believe I screenshotted the uh, harvest history. So let's take a look at that. Or I guess the latest harvest. So we can show that now as you guys can see just how quickly we got them. And uh, that brings us to the final trophy. As you can see in that list of trophies that we got there, there's also an albino lion. And by the thumbnail, you probably already knew that, but that is what today's video is primarily going to be focused on because that was easily the coolest thing that we have killed up to this point on our journey to level 60. We're currently level 35 and we've already got one of probably the most sought after trophies in the game that isn't a great one or a super rare. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the footage of that beautiful albino lion. And at the time, I was uh, not really planning on recording. I was just shooting lions to try and make some money back. So it took me a minute to react to even seeing it because I had to pull the microphone uh, in front of my face so I could even talk. But it was a very interesting thing to see, especially only like 50 kills into killing lions here on Verhonga Savannah. So without further ado, let's take a look at that. There is absolutely no way that we just found this. 
Oh my gosh, what an insane thing to come across. Just trying to get some money built back up, as you guys can see. 23,000. We've been shooting a lot of lions. And it looks like one of the lions that we killed during the uh, last video, or I guess the transition between the last two episodes in, in the in-between section, we got an albino lion to spawn. That is insane. That is insane. It's a level 7, so it's not even a bad one either. That is amazing. I was not prepared for this. Apologies if I sound uh, a little bit different. I was, uh, I was actually just finishing up my food as we spotted it, so... Yeah, a little bit of a terrible time for it to show up, but I don't even care. That is insane. That is such an insane thing to find at level 32 even. That is honestly the last thing I would have expected to find, and honestly, I wish I would have just hunted lions a little bit longer before doing the Yukon episode as I just finished recording the Yukon episode and then came over here to get some cash gained back from uh, spending all of it on the 300 Magnum and the Argus Scope. So this is an insane thing to find. We're going to take this down. We're going to tax it immediately as well. We got another level 7 there. Uh, but this guy's a little bit more important. Let's get lined up on him and try to get him down. That should do the trick right there. And then get that one as well before it flees away. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we found a trophy this insane uh, before hitting level 60. That is crazy. Honestly, we have been getting incredibly lucky here on the beginner's account. And... It really just goes to show that you can get good trophies at any level, and I've always told people this. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you have knowledge of the game, if you have knowledge of the areas that you're hunting and your favorite maps, if you know where to go to get animals, it'll make your life a lot easier. And This is a pretty good example of that. We have been hammering this lake right here. As you can see, there's lots of pressure there. We've been hammering these two lakes here. I've kind of been bouncing to this one every once in a while. And then going crazy on these two lakes as well. And we have had a lot of lions going down. In fact, we will uh, take a look at exactly how many very shortly. But we got to claim this thing first. That is insane. That is such a ridiculous trophy. 46.40 albino lion. That is going to be expensive to tax. But we are going to do it. That is well worth it. This is, I would say, the first very difficult trophy to get that we have acquired on this brand new account playthrough at level 32 we got our first what i would consider to be more sought after trophies in the game i feel like in call of the wild you have the like easier to get stuff like the diamond turkeys the like piebald whitetail things like that and then you kind of go into tiers of where it's kind of intermediate like the diamond and rare uh roosevelt elk and blacktail deer and stuff like that and then you get at the very top with great ones albino lions like rare pheasants things like that that you, that you just don't see every day what a beautiful pose to get some screenshots in as well my gosh that is just absolutely insane i'm still blown away that we got this just from shooting a bunch of lions for money and honestly this is probably the thing that i would have wanted to get from trying to just shoot stuff for money we've been shooting red deer as well and we've had a couple rares show up but nothing crazy if we're gonna get an insane rare i would want it to be an albino lion and that's what we ended up getting that is incredible it's moments like this that make me happy that nowadays I record every single second that I'm playing the game. Regardless of whether or not I'm intending to make a video on it, if I'm playing Call of the Wild, there's a good chance I'm recording it now. Because I've had so many situations in the past where I've missed my reaction to a good trophy because I wasn't recording. So we've started recording everything the last probably two months. And because of it, we were actually able to uh, get that thing uh, from the very second that we ended up spotting it. And another lion going down. We are just absolutely smoking the lions with this 300 Magnum. It has made life so much easier, which is why we decided to push for it extra hard before the last episode. Because it is really just a game changer in how quickly you can kill lions and stuff like that. Another lion and another shot dropping into it. It is just night and day difference when it comes to how quickly they die versus the seven millimeter absolutely night and day difference and like i was saying earlier this is such a good example of how random call of the wild can be and 
the fact that it doesn't really matter what level you're at, you may be able to get a lot of a specific trophy and never get a another trophy that you may want. Uh, for example, I have killed, I believe, like five or six albino lions now between this account and my main account, with one of them being here and the rest being on my main, and I've never, to this day, killed a blonde male lion, even though they're supposedly more common. And that really just goes to show that everybody is going to have different trophies that are very difficult for them to get and some that take a very long time to ever acquire, while others may get that exact trophy their first time playing the game. As always, I have to stress that Call of the Wild is a very randomized game. There is a lot of uh, randomness when it comes to what is going to respawn from the stuff you kill. You never quite know if it's going to be a diamond, if it's going to have a rare fur type. You never know with Call of the Wild, and that's one of the things that people love about this game, including myself. I never expected to find an albino lion at level 32 just trying to gain some money to be able to fund the next episode. And instead, we end up finding that instead and breaking our bank even more, uh, going back under 20,000. Well, we're a little bit over now that we've picked up those two, but that was pretty much all the money that I had earned today, just gone. You know, I really was not expecting to be doing another Verhonga Savannah video so quick on this series, and I really had no plans of doing it this soon. But I feel like with this trophy in our possession now, we really have no choice but to do another Verhonga Savannah lion hunting video in the beginner series. And that's most likely where this footage will end up, is somewhere in the middle of that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on and get back to the, the main video. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. This was the most unexpected thing that could have possibly happened while just trying to gain back my money from that Yukon video. And now that you guys have seen all the trophies that we have got here on the Beginner Series account, this is the Albino Lion right here. Definitely the craziest thing that we have come across throughout the uh, 35 levels that we have acquired. And uh, yeah, while I was doing this whole video right here, I did shoot some more lions and gained a little bit more money. So we'll most likely be uh, purchasing either a bunch of ammo or probably some new binoculars because I think we are almost the level to buy the uh, range finding binoculars, which will be really good. So we're probably gonna save up for that. And then maybe we'll also go ahead and tax that diamond lion. In fact, I think that's what we should go ahead and do. So let's go to the saved harvest and tax this diamond lion right here. And then we also put the blue wildebeest on the wall right here. So we've got our diamond lion, our albino lion, and the diamond wildebeest that we have got on Verhonga Savannah. And you guys can kind of see the dates right here on when we ended up getting them. Ended up getting this one on uh, January 7th, and then I think that was one of the last things I shot that day, uh, besides the few that you saw after it. And then the next day I did the lion run shot about probably 10 lions, and then when I got to the lake that this guy was at, he was the first thing that I ended up seeing, with uh, this one coming shortly before he did, as we can see by the uh, time frames. It's crazy to think that during the first few hours on Verhonga Savannah, in fact, probably the first like six hours, we didn't find any trophies. It was just a lot of shooting lions and stuff like that. And then out of nowhere, we get three crazy trophies within about 10 kills, which is just absurd. But you love to see it. You really love to see it when those types of moments happen. And this is something I've talked about so much with Call of the Wild. Sometimes you may go hundreds of kills without anything and then get a bunch of trophies back to back and then go on another dry streak of not getting anything. That happens quite often and that's definitely been the case with uh, this particular scenario. We went quite a while with not really getting a trophy. I think the last trophy that we had got was uh, possibly this red deer right here, but that was a few hundred kills before we ended up getting these. And actually, wait, now that I think of it, it was actually this Gemsbok. We ended up getting this Gemsbok and then a few more hours of gameplay later, we got these right here. So Verhonga has been by far the most uh, uh, fruitful map when it comes to trophies for us. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than the rest of the beginner uh, guide playthrough episodes that we've done. This one more focused on the trophies that we recently managed to get on Verhonga Savannah. And uh, not as much focused on like uh, tips and tricks and things like that. But next episode, we will be back to the whole like leveling process and uh, getting new equipment and talking about stuff like that. So... So with that in mind, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you have not already subscribed, be sure to do so as you will learn a ton by watching the videos here on the channel. And if you're subscribed, you're more likely to see my videos, especially if you tick that bell icon. But with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.